Here on the mighty Zambezi River below the Maliland Soro Mountains lies an unnamed island that is home to Africa's loneliest baboon. Robinson was just an average baboon living an average life here at Wilderness Safari's Rukumechi camp. His daily routine involved foraging, scrounging and opportunistic petty crime. But in the dry season of 2011, Robinson became stranded on the island. No one knows how he got there. Some say he jumped into the river to escape lions. Others, that he was chased into the river by elephants. One school of thought is that he waded over there while the river was low. But with crocodiles this big, that's unlikely. He's now been stranded for three years. That's three years without climbing a tree. Three years without teasing warthogs. And three years without sitting in the shade. I asked camp manager Henry Prinsloo why no one had rescued the castaway. Um, National Parks was approached a short while ago about rescuing. And unfortunately, being in National Park, we've been told that strictly no interference with animals and nature has to take its own course. Hmm. I decided to try and save Robinson myself, paddling into the crocodile-infested waters of the mighty Zambezi. My guide is Kingsley Chinimashonga. Um, we have some crocs that are almost about 18 feet, which are almost pretty much the same size of the canoe. Those are some of the pretty big crocs that we have on the Zambezi River. Kingsley is rather sceptical of this search and rescue mission and of its chances of success. Um, well, with Robinson, it's a matter of nature taking its own course, um, where, you know, he's just been left to try and survive the way he's surviving. Uh, there have been cases where boats have gone close, trying to think maybe they can help him out and rescue, and uh, he's actually moved away from people uh, trying to come closer. Robinson! Robinson! He's not there, is he? Do you think he has to sleep in the afternoons? Not really, he'll be there somewhere. Robinson! Robinson! Clearly, years in solitary confinement on Zimbabwe's version of Robin Island have done nothing to diminish Robinson's fear of humanity. And my rescue mission returns at sunset, empty-handed. As for Robinson, the future is rather dark. Upstream lies the Kariba Dam and if they open the sluices the valley will flood. I'll let Kingsley explain. Uh, in case they open the floodgates further upstream he might have to swim with the crocodiles and make it either to the bank or unfortunately it might be a tragic ending with the crocodiles. So it's a despondent present and a worrying future for Africa's loneliest baboon.